what is happening people big up to those who caught the unorthodox stream on saturday night if you didn't the link is in the description this video is going to be about how i put together that live stream anyone who watched my first video will have seen how i found the location in this video we're going to look at how i pulled the whole thing together I decided quite early on that this was not going to be a live stream, but it was going to be a pre-record. Live streaming is a very difficult thing to do if you don't have the best equipment, if you don't have power, internet, and all the other things you might need to do an effective live stream for next to zero money. So I started compiling a list of everything I needed to get together. I already had all my DJ equipment, luckily. Power was the next thing. I headed over to Fat Llama, if any of you know. It's a app you can hire stuff from other people. It's pretty good. This isn't sponsored, but Fat Llama, if you're watching, I would love the sponsor. So I went to go pick up the generator from a guy in East London, and we bonded over drum and bass because he himself had been filming drum and bass for Harry Shotter and a few others, which was interesting. I then went to go pick up a foldable table from good old Karen, who was very upset that I was 5p short of the actual value. Once I had all that, got to work on sorting my music library out. It's so important when you're DJing to have everything set correctly. Music up to date, you don't want to be mixing with outdated music unless it's obviously a classic. Keep things fresh the whole time. You want to make sure that all your cue points are set, the waveforms are right, the BPMs are right. You just want everything to be in playlists and ordered just so when it comes to the moment that you're DJing, you can be ready. Preparation is key for a good set. So I looked back on my list, saw what else I needed. Next thing was filming. How was I going to film it? I've got one of the newer iPhones. So I was like, might as well just use that. Put in a tripod, didn't need any leads, didn't need nothing. That was the easiest thing to do. But I also wanted a more dynamic shot. So I decided one of my friends would come and help me film it on my proper camera. And then I thought I would put it all together before airing it on Saturday night. So now we had everything together, it was time to put pen to paper and get this show on the road. Right, good morning. Today is the day of the shoot. It's been a stressful couple of days getting everything together, but finally today's here, so um, I just need to get ready now and then we need to get to the location. So I'll see you in a bit. And I am ready. It's taking me about two and a half, three hours probably. Got no wig today. Although my hair's not that short. My hair's actually quite long. That's why I think I can get away without a wig. And wig's such a faff. Do you know how difficult it is to DJ in a wig? Think about if you're any of your DJs and you just DJ normally, imagine wearing like a 40 inch long wig on top of that. Like it's so difficult. But yeah, I think this is kind of working. It works. Who needs wigs? But I'm there. I'm just waiting for a couple mates to come now. And I've got all the gear ready downstairs. I've got so much stuff. So we're going to pack. We've got two cars. We're going to pack the car. And we're going to make a move. So catch you guys in a bit. Let's go. Let's go. Woo. Right out here. Okay. Go into the car. Go into the car. Joe's here. Yo, what are you saying? Well gone, well gone, well gone. So, Come on, what are you saying? You got a generator? Yeah, it's in the car, I don't see it. I don't know what this is doing right now. Why was your footage like, all like fucked um, oh, underneath? Right, getting ready to go. Car's packed. Got the Jenny. Joe's here. And Ashley, we're gonna Joe's driving as well, and we're gonna bang the shit out. Excuse me. Who are you looking for specifically? Some people at my house. I don't know what they're doing. Yo. Looking good, bro. Looking so close. You gotta get close. Right, we're ready and we're going. Gonna go shoot some fucking sick footage and have a blast of the time. So, yeah. I never know how to sign this shit off. You have to go like, bam. You're right, hold up. All right, ready to leave now, so we'll see you there. Once again, back at this uh, crazy place. We're gonna go vlog. We're gonna go check out, see what's going on. Oh. 
Oh yeah. Awesome. <laughs> it's gonna look epic. This is what it takes to put a, uh, a mobile live stream on. Uh oh. Oh, wrong one. Yeah, let me have a go. Go on, Mr. Engineer. Yeah. <laughs> How did you get that first time? What's happening? What's happening? Today is a new day. Yesterday was a dream. Now I've got hours and hours ahead of me of editing to make the stream look sick before we air it on Saturday. Went down so well. Chickaboo was amazing. We didn't get any interruption from any outsiders or any police. Couple onlookers, people who are running by. But otherwise it was pretty much fine. Today's sunny, which is f***ing great. I'm off to meet my friend Verity aka the rave report basically she writes um literally as it suggests rave report she finds like alternative rave communities around the world and interviews people and writes up about them it's super interesting so we're gonna go hang out in central for a bit look for some cool locations take some cool pictures and have a bit of fun you know the sun's out we're in this is the fucking end of the world might as well enjoy what we can so we're gonna get the tube to Cannon Street, check out some cool places, maybe go over to Barbican, get some cool shots. And yeah, we'll see what happens. Catch you guys in a bit. Right, I'm here now in Cannon Street. I'm gonna go and find Verity. It's like a ghost town here. There's literally nobody here. I prefer to have, you know, a place to myself, really. And then I don't have to worry about people judging me. I just hate when people judge me, you know? Like, it's just so rude. Anyway, let's go find Verity. Look who I found. <laughs> She's here. I'm here. After a treacherous <laughs> journey on the tube, Dodging yeah. coronavirus. No. Oh had an anti masker breathing in my face. Ew. Ew. It was so grim. <laughs> Where are we going? That's a good question. So I'm thinking we're going to see the city, going to see the big smoke, and um, big I, think smoke. We're going, <laughs> I think we're going to like see the skyscrapers today, basically. Yeah, the skyscrapers. Yeah. That's what it's all yeah. about, the skyscrapers. That's what it's all about today. <laughs> okay, let's go find some skyscrapers. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's recording. <laughs> what's, the, what's the vibe of something very like, not when it's like supposed to be more, but it's not? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Is it under... Underwhelming. Yeah, very underwhelming. I thought I could have just like straight down this. Come on. Well, that was just painful. <laughs> <laughs> right, next location. Okay, let's go get some, let's go get some goods. Kinds I bought these for like a free drink. And like 10 in, I'm, everyone's like drunk, and I'm just like, <laughs> like I'm Literally. sober, where's the coke? Literally. Oh shit, I can't say that on my, <laughs> can't say it on YouTube, that's illegal. <laughs> we'll block that out. We actually, where's the diet coke? Yeah. Yeah. Diet coke. Yeah. Diet coke. <laughs> Should we get a crate of like 20? 
<laughs> she would just get wasted. She would just get f***ing wasted, wasted yeah. in the cold. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going for a pee. But there, on oh, the no. stairs, yeah, Harry yeah, Potter. Yeah. Okay. Go on. <laughs> Have fun. Yeah, I just got my pussy out in public. <laughs> in, yeah, who cares? Parking. I love getting my yeah. pussy out in public. I love getting my pussy out. Escalator. Don't know where this escalator goes, but let's just let's just go, see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're out. Okay, we're outside now. Should put your name on it or I wonder why this is so Nathan. Oh, yeah. Not that you can really see that. But just like so like, oh. Yeah, that was how you do it. <laughs> Look at my failed attempt. All you see is a dick. <laughs> That's sick. Oh, that looks so nice. I love that. Vandalism. That's its finest. There you go. I've got my fucking name now. Oh, this is cool. Bit yeah. Hi, welcome to the Barbican. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go up the Shaftesbury. This is like a big dogging spot, apparently. Oh yeah. Shaftesbury okay. place. Oh yeah. This is the place to get shafted. Oh right. Five guys. They don't do five. chicken burgers, man. They don't do chicken burgers. Ah. Yeah, they do. Oh no. We don't eat beef here. We're uh, we're uh, we're millennials. Don't do that. God. Ugh, who eats beef? You go Pizza Express. Pizza Express is underrated. Do you think that? Like, in my opinion, like the thing about Pizza Express is like everyone's like, oh, it's shit, and they're going bust. But actually, there's nothing better than their dough balls and garlic butter. Mm -hmm. or, it's closed though. Yeah, I know. It's pandemic didn't you know oh yeah shit <laughs> <laughs> i guess this might be the sign off to the video so yeah. i hope you enjoyed it remember to like subscribe share tell your friends all of the above and we'll catch you next time